Hey everyone, it's Brian here. Today I'm coming on to do my design team project for Kinder's Card Challenge number nine here on YouTube and online. Um, so first of all, let me explain what Kinder's Card Challenges is all about if you haven't heard of it before. What we do is we get like 15 or so cards out of each project. And it's like, as Kendra says, it's like one cheat wonder times six. You have six pieces of pattern paper that are six by six inches, usually within the same collection that you cut up into different pieces. And you'll have a guide. I'll, um, I believe I'll try to leave that link in the description box below this video but if not it will be on Kendra's channel cards by Kendra and what we're doing is we're just having a lot of fun making cards you can make Valentine's cards you can make Christmas cards even even though Christmas just passed you can start getting ready for next year so Basically, what we're doing here today is we're having a hop, and what that means is we're just hopping along all the design team members' videos. We got one for each sketch in the challenge. I, by the way, am number 13, and I'll leave a link to all the other channels' um, videos down below in this description box so you can watch them and there will be prizes involved and this challenge lasts from today January 2nd all the way to January 9th so you got a week or so to get your comments in and everything and on all the channels and subscribe to them all and we're just going to have a lot of fun with this. So let me show you what we're going to be doing today. Well, first of all, I want to show you what collection I'm using. I am using the Crafters Pain Reveal Wheel card kit. And I'm just using papers and stamps from this. The dies and everything, not really. But I am most everything I'm using on all 15 cards came from this box. In other words, so what you're gonna need for this project is an A2 card, which is of course five and a half by eight and a half, basically cut it a eight half by eleven and a half. Score down the middle at four and a quarter inches. You got yourself an A2 card. And our backgrounds are going to be, let's see if I got this right. Yes. This craft card stock. This just came from my stash of scraps. That's going to be our top layer. Then we're going to have another layer, another mat. And this, by the way, measures five and a quarter inches wide by four inches tall. And all the instructions for all the bane layering you will need is also on the Kinder's Card Challenge um, document. And our other map piece is five inches wide, because this is five and a quarter by four. This is five by three and three quarters. So we're just going to start going that down. Oops, let a little glue out.
player that down. Get the scraper. And then we're going to do the same thing with this piece. And I'll also try to remember when I edit this video to leave a picture of this of the Project 13 on the screen, at least at the beginning, so you can see what we're making. So we got that done. Next, we're going to use a piece from piece, um, sorry, piece number E. And also we're gonna have a piece from piece F. So you're gonna go like this. No matter layering need for this one. And we're going to do the same thing with piece letter F. And now we're going to have a piece that I believe measures, let me see, I think it's three and a half by two and a quarter. So it'll be on the um, thing on the screen on the project sheet. And this one's just going to be a quarter inch less on both sides. So gonna look like that and this piece also came from my stash as did the white piece Now I'm going to glue this one on. There we go, that's done. And now we got a little um, dovetail banner piece from um, sheet D that we're gonna put here in this corner. We'll put that in that upper right hand corner. See if that's aligned well. I don't 
think so, but you'll have to. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and use a couple of these stamps here. I think this will work. Sorry. I think that turned out pretty well. Looks like I overdid a little bit, but it's cool. We're going to do this congratulations stamp over here, like so. could leave this black and white or we could color it but I think I'm just gonna leave this black and white for now because it looks pretty good like this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of these um, dew drop um, pearls that came in that same card kit that I showed earlier Over here, one. And here's a way that I pick them up if they're not too big. I use my take your pick tool from Stampin' Up. I use the side with the gel. And I did not mean to pick that up. Uh -oh. Put that back on there. Then you put it at your desired spot. And voila, there you go. Card number 13 is done. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. And don't forget to leave your comment below this video. And I'll see you all again real soon. Bye.